Pilot there taking on several questions uh, of the media personnel. Remember, this controversy started way ahead, something that was fueled only recently after the Rajasthan Chief Minister, Mr. Ashok Gehlot, had uh, spoken about how Vasundhara Rajay and two other BJP leaders had helped him save his government during the 2020 political crisis. In response to that, you have uh, Sachin Pilot respond to all of those allegations. He's also mentioned how there is going to be uh, Jan Sangharsh Yatra from Ajmer to Jaipur, 125 kilometers. That is going to be actually dotted in a span of five days. That is going to be beginning on 11th of May by him. Let's listen in to all of these reactions. सामान्य मुख्यमंत्री जी का भाषण परसों धौलपुर में हुआ और उस भाषण को सुनने के बाद मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि सामान्य मुख्यमंत्री जी की नेता आदरणीय श्रीमती सोनिया गांधी जी नहीं है बल्कि उनकी नेता वसुंधरा राजे सिंधिया जी हैं और एक तरफ ये कहा जा रहा है कि हमारी सरकार को गिराने का काम भाजपा कर रही थी दूसरी तरफ कहा जाता है कि सरकार को बचाने का काम वसुंधरा जी कर रही थी तो ये जो विरोधाभास है इसको समझाना चाहिए this is a huge Rajasthan rumble. One only gets to wonder what is going to happen in the next seven months when the state gets into election mode. I'd also like to understand this uh, Jan Sangharsh Yatra that uh, Sachin Pilot has called for starting 11th of May, right after polling gets completed in uh, Gujarat, uh, in, in Karnataka. Does it have an endorsement of the Congress party or not? I, I officially know. I mean, just first things first, the hands are, the gloves are off, the knives are out. And any talk of a truce possibly between a Sachin Palin and Ashok Gelot camp now seems increasingly impossible. Uh, I think it all began with that Dholpur speech of mm. Ashok Gelot where he said that there were 20-odd MLAs who were actually taking money from the BJP for the rebellion. Uh, one does not know what that provocation was, but Sachin Palin has given a point-by-point -point rebuttal. And some of them are very, very strong points. He actually accusing Ashok Gelot of not looking at uh, Sonia Gandhi as his leader, but rather Vasundhara Rajesh Sindhya. He also said that I can also make corruption allegations, but these are not things to be said in public. Now, what he is doing is something which is very similar to what Navjot Singh Sidhu had done in Punjab, which proved to be the undoing of the Congress party, actually making a corruption the key issue. So the Jan Sangharsh Yatra that he's going to be going on on the 11th is clearly a Yatra which has been planned only by Sachin Pilot to make the point that I have zero hope and he said that on record. I have no hope of any investigation being done into allegations against the former chief minister, Vasun Rajesh Sindhya. And therefore, I'm going to go back to the same spot where those allegations have been made against her, which means corruption scam as far as jobs were being given. That's the spot he's going to be doing, a 25-kilometer yatra that he's talking about. Now, if you remember, just to answer your question, the last time round he had done that Mon Vrat and that kind of anshan he had done, precisely on a similar issue that had not got the endorsement of the Congress party. In fact, after that, the state in charge, Mr. Sukhinder Randava, had gone on record to say this incurs a disciplinary action against Sachin Pilot and we are going to issue him a notice. That certainly hasn't had happened yet because Kamal Nath, for example, had intervened. Now we'll have to wait to see that today is the ninth, two days left to go, whether the Congress party actually is going to go ahead and issue him a show cause notice and whether it's actually going to be a break of Sachin Pilot from the Congress party. But Pallavi, what about uh, Mr. Ashok Gehlot's speech in Dholpur? Has there been any disciplinary action about that considering he had decided to target two of his rivals in that speech? One was Rajay, the other one was Sachin Pilot, of course, uh, which a claim that Rajay openly defied. Has there been any action that has been planned against Mr. Ashok Gehlot? Because this was a huge and a massive statement that was made. 
Well, no pl action plan. And in fact, of those 20 MLAs that Mr. Gelot was referring to, three of them are actually ministers in his cabinet. And those three were very much involved in the so-called rebellion more than two years back. Uh, that's exactly what Sachin Pallade is talking about. That there's an action which is pending against some of the leaders. No action has been taken against them as well. If you remember that the CLP meeting which was planned in September last year, which didn't happen, and after which uh, Gelot went to meet Sonia Gandhi, uh, that time also no action has been taken. Taken. So as of now, no action has been even spoken out against Ashok Gelod. It's not going to be an easy one. I mean, he's a sitting chief minister. He's a veteran leader, someone who has the support of the MLAs. And elections are going to be sometime in the winter of this year. So I don't think the Congress party wanted to ruffle any feathers. But now the hands may be forced. Whether they're going to take action against Ashok Gelod, because if they do, then why not against Sachin Pilot? If they take action against Sachin Pilot on a Jan Sagarj Kayatra, which is clearly on the corruption issue, then a Congress runs risk on two points. One, that it is not serious about corruption. And the second, of course, is that, you know, in that case, you end up antagonizing Pilot and his supporters even more and send out a message that you're being selective in your outrage. Pallavi, there were very interesting rebuttals that had come out of this press conference by Sachin Pilot that's just about ended. Uh, to the charge that Ashok Gelod had made in Dholpur, where he had claimed that there were MLAs who were given money by the BJP to actually uh, carry out that entire exercise in 2020. To that, Sachin Pilot has now said that MLAs were forced to resign from the Rajasthan cabinet. This had, in fact, unsettled the Congress party in Rajasthan. And he also says that could be at the behest of uh, Modi and Shah. Yes, absolutely. And in fact, I think he's also taken objection to the fact because if you remember Ashok Gehlot's speech in Dhodpur, he had said that I would urge the AICC to return the money which these 20 MLAs have taken from the BJP. The insinuation was great and grave. The suggestion, of course, was that there was a bribe which was taken, there was money which was taken to topple his government. And in this, Sachin Pilot, as well as those rebel MLAs, were absolutely involved. Again, Sachin Pilot responds to that by saying that we've been if I want, I can make similar allegations. Mm. They are corruption allegations. People do come up to me and say so-and-so work is being done for in exchange of money. But I'm not going to make unsubstantiated charges. All charges have to be proved. So now, it's, as I see it, it's an all-out war. Mm. Any scope of a truce between the two of them is just not seems to be happening, which makes it very bad for the Congress party, especially when after Karnataka, the next big elections they'll really have to look at is mm. in Rajasthan. Also, Ashok Gehlot has been announced several important scheme of late which are seen as people's scheme which the Congress party is hoping is going to be able to work for them in a state which also sees a cyclical pattern. All this becomes difficult because Sachin Pilot also cannot be ignored because he belongs to a Gujarat Meena community. Mm. There are a large number of seats which fall in that zone. So at this point of time the Congress one cannot look at you know unsettling of Rajasthan Congress two a relatively young leader mm. going away on the issue of corruption. So this is going to become a huge, uh, difficult problem, I would say, for the top Congress leadership. And it usually emanates out of the fact that they have been so slow in taking a decision on this. Right. Pallavi, thank you so much for all of that.